I told you the song and dance part, but you didn't realize that you're going to get to see it from this end. <laughs> oh, no. Like that end. We're going to do Except Alex didn't show this time, so I got to cut him out of this. So it's just like Coachella, but better. I can't see how this is too far off from Coachella. Right. Done! Another week! Oh, listen to this. Now, Scott, you wrote this one. This one's called I Gotta Pee. It is. It felt like there needs to be a song when you do the dance. Yes. Like, there needs to be a song you can sing. That was it. My mom loves when I play music at the beginning. I got you pee. I got you pee. Oh, this is good. JK. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Another week down. Not down, we just started. I don't even know what I'm saying. This is one of the first weeks, actually. This is one of the first weeks of oh, the of Okay, the but year, you're right? on the Chinese calendar. I am. So I, Chinese New Year is not I for was, a couple more weeks. I only do the Chinese calendar. Right. I like how on this one I'm like almost out of it completely. And then this one I'm just like I mean, on both sides. You have my permission to sit on Caleb's lap. Yeah. Ooh. You, you have my permission as well. Oh. Not that it was really needed. He is my son. Yes. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> If we just do one of these right I should have named you Luke just so I could say the line. <laughs> yeah. I feel like mom would have been on there board with go. that too. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. We're all set. Good Goodbye. Yeah, yeah, there we go. That nice little delay at the beginning. Okay. I told you specifically I had a game today, but I did not tell you what the game was. And the game is. As long as it's football, I'm in. Football. It is. Name all 50 states in 100 Seconds, so two seconds per state. Are we playing cooperatively? Cooperatively. Okay. okay. No, we got this. No, no, yeah, 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 yeah. 100 seconds. We got this. Mm -hmm. We're starting now. Go. Okay. Arizona. Alabama. Okay. Alaska. Arkansas. Okay. <laughs> uh, Colorado, California, Delaware, Same New Jersey, Florida, Georgia, Minnesota, Hawaii, Idaho, Illinois, uh, Kentucky, Iowa. Mm -hmm. Indiana. I can't go as fast oh, okay. as you are going. Sorry. <laughs> um, North Carolina, Kansas, South Carolina, Louisiana, North Dakota, South Dakota. Now we've got the M's. Michigan, yeah. Montana, Indiana, Maryland, Minnesota. Mississippi, Madagascar. Madagascar's not one. <laughs> not with that attitude. Yeah, not with that attitude. It's okay. Not. New we'll Jersey, New Mexico, New North Mexico. Dakota, got North wow. Dakota. Nebraska, New Hampshire. New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. New I always Hampshire. confuse you with the old Jersey. Hampshire. I got New, I got New Jersey. New Orlando. Oregon, Oregon. Oregon. Oregon's Orlando, one. Um, Ohio. Oh my Ohio's one. Oh, <laughs> Oklahoma. Man, scary stuff. It's all good. Did we get Oklahoma? You got Oklahoma. Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. Pennsylvania. Um, Rhode Island. Mm -hmm. Rhode Island. Are there no S's? South Dakota. South Dakota. South, Dakota, South, Dakota, South Carolina, Carolina. North Carolina. You got another, those. I feel like there's another S, though. So you don't have a no. checklist? You have to write so them all down? Got, I had bad. it, and it didn't print it's off bad. the time. He's got it. Um, so yeah. it's so uh, it Texas. It's a solid paper. Virginia, West Virginia. Got them. Country uh, roads. Kind of, yeah, Mountain Mama. Mountain mm -hmm. um, <laughs> <laughs> Mama. Time! Is that it? Is that it? How many did we get? Because we forgot uh, yeah. Hawaii. Oh, no, wow. I said Hawaii. Alaska. Did we get Vermont? I said Hawaii. did not get Vermont. Um, did we grab out Vermont. Well, sorry, we got Maine. Hey, we're sorry, Vermont. <laughs> sorry, Vermont. Yeah, we forgot you. We we still gonna drink your maple syrup though. All right, so you guys. Isn't that Canada? I don't drink. Got them all. We really. We're pretty sure we didn't get Vermont. You did it, but I couldn't keep up. I could only write twenty-two. <laughs> okay, then we got time. Vermont. You got Vermont. We I got Vermont. I can't believe you missed it. I can't believe I missed sorry, it either, Vermont. guys. I'm so sorry. Okay. Dude. Let's see if we can do all. Let's do the the capitals though. I'm out. Oh, the no. Capitals. no we can try them out. We can try them out. Yeah. I'm all gonna right. help on this one because I like capitals. Okay. All right. Do also, do, I, do you guys so think wait. I look like I'm hunting from this part? Well, I can't I, even see I can't, you. Yeah, we can't even see you. And then you. this part, I'm like, I'm definitely here. I'm so, out. Did you know that? You know what I mean. Did you know that like deer are colorblind? <laughs> really? Because I never understood why hunters would wear fluorescent and camo because it never made sense. It's like I don't want to be seen. And hey, look at me! Yeah. And I finally learned like just a couple of years ago that deer are colorblind. Did you ask yeah. a deer? Yeah, I was like, hey, does this, it, does this match? And he's like, that's say. definitely green. And then and he just said, like, oh, dear. Whoa, you're a deer. You just freaking talk. And you're like, oh, my gosh. You did just freaking talk. This is insane. Yeah, and then I shot it and ate it for Thanksgiving dinner. You nice. shot a talking deer? Wow. I mean, 
It's like the worst. Is it really any different from any other deer? You know, I heard uh, reindeer. Mm -hmm. They're with the horns. They're all women. Yeah. Oh, all the horns ones are the horny. Women. I know, I was trying yeah. to, mm -hmm. I was hoping Horny would come into this conversation. Yes, <laughs> and we got it in there just like that. So I'm actually, that sounds like a good song title, right? Oh, there. Horny, 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 So we're getting a lot of love here. We're nice. getting a lot of love. That was smooth. Thank you guys. <coughs> Very good. Man, smooth. you are good on this. Thank thing. you, man. Yeah. The pot? Stop. <laughs> the pot, though? I, I was holding my breath the whole time. I was you so doing stressed. Right. You were doing great. You're doing great. Do you have any tricks for finding the, 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 the beat? You said you're not, you said you well, don't have a... Mississippi. I just Mississippi. keep saying oh, Mississippi, Mississippi in my head. Mississippi, <laughs> Mississippi, Mississippi, one, two. Oh, so one, two, three, four. Okay, I guess okay. you could, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. yeah, that could work. Do you find it on the one? In the three or the two and the four. Once I say P, then I do it. Because I pee a little bit because I'm so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> so it's on the four at least. Is that the theme for today's show? <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of theme to do. Um, I've, I also have rhythm problems. I don't know. You know. A lot of it has to do with me being. That's just him being polite. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's the whiteness. It is just, the whiteness. I, I, don't, I don't know if that's you found, You're here. finding problems. You're doing I've never had a problem. You've never had a problem. You see, <laughs> see, I was going to say if you have to find the rhythm, you shouldn't be playing a rhythm instrument. Oh, and I do play. I mean, boy, like the rhythm guitar. Eh, yeah, uh, well, sort of. I don't know. Sort of. But you've got a, you're not part of the rhythm section. That's fair. Okay, that's fair. I, you know, thank you for saying. That. I played the recorder once in the fourth grade. That Dang. Was, that she really recorded shy. something that's, 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 that's actually yeah. when I played. <laughs> yeah, I was a kid that was like, yeah. So that's actually when I played kalimba last, too, was fifth grade. Is that what that's called? Yeah. The kalimba. Kalimba. Or the, the, the finger, finger thumb. Pian. So the finger, I finger learned, pian. you want to hold that up for our viewing audience? Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. I learned that that's actually considered a man's instrument in Africa. Is it really? This is a man's instrument. You go, go ahead and please explain so, why this is a man's So on this documentary instrument. I saw, they were explaining that like, if you're a girl and you want to play that, everybody's like, no, sorry, that's a man's instrument. Wow. This and, is a man's uh, And this world. one girl that I man's saw in the documentary just kept insisting that she wanted to play it. I think she's like, she's like their Susan B. Anthony. Oh. Wow. Okay. Because she insisted on playing, and I guess she's just a wizard at it. She's just a whiz. She's a wizard, Harry. She's a wizard, Harry. All right. Wait, you have a music theory philosophy cup? I do. Wow. See, I thought this was just a thing you did in your backyard until I saw that. Special coughs or anything. Now, now it's that's on. Twelve dollars? No, thirteen dollars off the Dean Nelson. Oh, I could buy one. You can. You can buy a Dean Nelson bath mat. That is not a joke. That is a real thing. Oh, wow. Yes, you can also get a duvet with my face on it. Because I already think of you when I'm in the shower. You. <laughs> There's a shower curtain with oh my god, <laughs> and that will conclude the night. <laughs> I'm just like wrapped in him. Like, oh, I love it. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Okay, segue. You're not on not, oh, I'm not on anymore. I, I gotta make sure you get a little yeah, bit closer. That's there that's we go. Fine. Look at this. That's better. Now I just help myself in editing. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, New Year's just came up. Did you guys have any good New Year's stories? Stories, no. No? I was asleep by 10 p.m. You were asleep by 10 p.m.? Really? I was three. I I'm the only 20-year-old that was asleep by that time. Yeah. I went to bed at 3 a.m. Because I was hanging out with your uncle. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I didn't even that like hang out with like my own family. sounds like a slam, but it's not. It it's kind, doesn't it? I mean, kind of. Just hanging out with your uncle. Because her uncle and I are old, and she's yeah. young. She should be up till 3 you in the morning. You should be up. I feel great in the morning, though. Yeah. I, say, I don't think I've I slept till like ten. I was three good. or four. Yeah. Yeah, something, something like that. I don't know. That's normal New Year's stuff. My dog though. was up. Yeah. <laughs> it's normal was. everyday stuff for you. Are you no. a, night, a night owl? I am definitely a night owl. Yeah. Yeah. Nor normal. I go to bed around like twelve thirty or so. Okay. <clears throat> I, I just the, the morning. Like I love the mornings. Oh, it's great. But I, I hate waking up. It could be three yep. p.m. and I hate waking up. Yep. It doesn't matter. And it, it's funny now that now that I'm kind of like in between jobs at the moment. I've had to 
force myself to wake up at a reasonable time mm -hmm. because it was the first Wait, day. You're in between jobs? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I thought you gave notice and they were starting right at that other one. Well, no, no, no. I've got a, like another week until I start. Mm, oh. So this awkward. is like my vacation time right now, uh, and it's great. Time. So would you say you're okay. in between jobs, though? Is that really how that? If you that's have code one for like up, homeless. That... No, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Uh, maybe. But, but no, but you're technically vacation. right. Yeah, technically, I am in between jobs. But when you say the fact, that's so weird how phrases have. It's that true. Kind of no, you're phrase. right. That is code yeah. for homeless. Yeah, you're homeless. Yeah. Um, except you, you I just <laughs> told everybody on the internet. We'll and, edit it and you've done an amazing <laughs> job of keeping yourself looking <laughs> yeah, reasonably right. clean. <laughs> He's looking great. Handsome yeah. devil, Caleb. Caleb. So we're gonna start a GoFundMe account for Caleb <laughs> to get him off the street. It'll be up on the street right yeah. now, and it's gonna be right. See where all this dead negative space is on the grass? That's where it's gonna be right there. <laughs> You're welcome, Dean. Later on. So we're future. we're actually sleeping in or filming this in Caleb's bedroom. This right? is actually this Caleb's is yeah. Bedroom. This is I, I, I sleep over there actually. Here today, Caleb, it really means a lot. <laughs> yeah. He drinks all this. Yeah, this is his. Yeah. This, no, this, this dish. water bottle is a luxury, honestly. That is yeah yeah yeah. 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 There you go. Thanks, Trump. <laughs> that doesn't, just doesn't. That doesn't have the same ring as thanks Obama. I know. Thanks no, Obama. It yeah, thanks Obama. It's got that pop to There's it. There's something about it. I wonder why. I, I can't figure out why we attribute certain things to the president. Yeah. I don't know if I said this. I said this to somebody the other day. Um. So my thought being, like, every time gas prices go up or go down, people are like, "Oh, it's an election year. Gas prices are going down." I'm like, yeah, yeah. "Why do we think the president sets the gas prices?" <laughs> he does now. Like, he if cornflakes go up, I'm not like, "Oh, well, that's the president." Oh my god. <laughs> like, if if anything else goes up, nobody blames the president. But when it's gas, like, what does he call like OPEC and go, "Hey, uh, can you guys help me out? I'm getting reelected." Yes. Cool. No, it's, it's actually one of the first things the president does when he's elected into office is write down the gas prices for each state. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, he just Trump hates California. Yeah, he, he just hates California. He's like, screw you, California. California. <laughs> or Hawaii. Yeah, oh, yeah Hawaii, yeah. too. Oh, yeah. my gosh, those, yeah. those stupid. Yeah. Right. Ridiculous. Well, do I want to drive somewhere or do I want to eat this? Month? And maybe the, president, <laughs> the president's the perfect one to do that because he gets driven everywhere he goes. He doesn't yeah. have to buy he doesn't. He, he has doesn't, no so idea. So he's like, I don't care. He he's has, so dumb. I bet he has he's like got a, no frame of reference. That's exactly I bet he has like a gas dartboard. And it spins and then he throws the dart and then he's like, this one's Ohio. Ohio. Yeah, the darts like, oh. are all labeled for the states. But yes. California is magnetic, so the darts are in Hawaii, so the darts are more likely to hit it. Yes. Or or That's California is just one or giant two. wall. <laughs> <laughs> when you miss the target, it hits California. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. The rest of the wall behind the dartboard is California. That's California. Yeah. It's also the background. It's yep. There you go. The, there was a big thing about you know, obviously this is not news, but building a wall around for, for Mexico. What if if they had another state? What state do you think they would wall off? Wait, why are wait. wait Financially, I think Rhode Island would be the easiest to oh. do. Oh, yeah, but oh, you see what I'm saying? Like yeah. the rest of us. Oh, yeah. From the rest if they of had us. to well, wall off. I like... want to back up and say I was all in favor of building the wall because then I want to move to Mexico so there's a wall protecting me from Trump. Oh! oh honestly. We got, we got <laughs> political. Spicy. We got political. It's really spicy. I mean, you brought up building the wall. I did That's bring true. up building the wall. But That's I, true. And to answer your other question, I think we should wall off New Mexico just because it's, it's America's armpit. It's yeah. America's armpit. Oh, that is fair. Yeah. That's fair. All the, yeah. But what are we going to do with all the turquoise that we're missing now? Oh, good point. Oh. You know, we'll have to put around. a pipeline in All first. Uh, I don't know. You can, you can find a decent amount of turquoise in little tourist shops up in Sedona. No, you can okay. find so, a yard sale. Okay. A yard sale. Yard there's yard sale. <laughs> residual turquoise. So, I feel like the there's, yeah, there's enough turquoise in the rest of the states for us to be able to walk. Yeah, all the people with it in like, their belt buckles are dying. Mm -hmm. and we'll just, it'll keep it, put it back into circulation. I like the little bolo tie with the turquoise. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Do get like Western. A, if there's a band called Turquoise, what would the band play? What kind of style would they play? First, we should figure out what other colors are already bands, like red. Red's a band. Green yep. Day. Green is sort Day. Of, I mean, it's a day. Black yes. Pink? Is that the name of it? There's, like a there's gotta be a black. Oh. The black like are you thinking of Pink Panther? Yeah, we could probably just that's a not a band. Just no. black. The Black no, Girls, that. Black Keys. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. What about Yellow? There is, there's a band just called Yellow. There, I oh, mean, there's I yellow, uh, yellow days at least. No, but there's, there's just yellow. Really, uh, um, you know that old song? Um, it's on Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I got a pee. Oh, oh, oh yeah. yeah, that's yellow. That's yellow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Interesting. Okay. Pretty sure. I'm ninety percent sure. Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, oh. I want to be that guy. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Uh, see how this is. This is this is how these episodes always go. We start this way and then we come back. New Year's resolutions. Do you believe in them? Are they a no. thing? Shut up. No. <laughs> Did you just get a text? I just got a text. 
Did that Caleb just text you? Because that'd no. be awesome. That'd be awesome. That sure you, blew you see him like, <laughs> I really don't like this shit. Your fly is down. Your fly is down. <laughs> X, Y, Z. Dude, I actually, when I put this on, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm feeling good. And then I like turned around to take one more look at myself, and my fly was all the way Yes. <laughs> Embarrassing, and I had to look at myself. My reflection looked at me and said, <laughs> "It's okay." You hate it when your yeah, so when your, your reflection, reflection face, face bombs, yeah. you're just sitting there going, "Yeah, I know. I'm sorry." When your reflection gets up and walks away, have you ever <laughs> seen your reflection and thought it was somebody else and go, "That that person looks good," and then you realize it's no. you? I know. No, I actually, had the never. opposite. Like, wow, that person looks really bad. Oh no, god! <laughs> I don't believe it. All you're beautiful. Stop it. I think maybe that's a narcissist thing. I've been, I've been accused of being a narcissist. It actually hurts my feelings. Your whole day before, why you say that? I've been accused. I've been accused. <laughs> You're so bad. Stop it, babe. That's a stop it, stop it. Um, okay, sorry, New Year's resolutions. Don't be a narcissist. Worst New Year's resolutions. Hmm. That's, yes. Did you say worst? Yeah, let's go with worst yeah. New Year's resolutions. I, I mean, we can do the, 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 the whole thing is it's just another day for me. Mm. I don't really care about it. So you agree, but it's time you agree to reflect. with you too. Yes. Nothing changes yes. New Year's yes. Day. Yes. <laughs> yes, I do agree with you too. Mm. <clears throat> so that, that's my normal philosophy about it is I've, the, I've only ever set one New Year's resolution for myself, and that was to stop smoking cigarettes, which I've done. And I'm that was good. last year, I think, or the year before. I think it was last year. I'm pretty sure it was last year. Um, but other than that, I, I only set New Year's resolutions if I am 100% on board with following through. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I never want to half-heartedly yeah, but set a New Year's resolution for myself. 100% on board when they make the resolution? Or they're yeah. Like, don't they believe... Okay. They're 100% <laughs> on board. Because I feel like when people are like, this year, I'm going to get in shape, or whatever yeah. it is. Like, they, everybody's on board until, like... Until January they actually have to do sixth. something through it. I was going to go fourth, I like the sixth. Yeah. <laughs> um, but that's sixth actually accurate. wrapping back around to Dean's question about the stupidest New Year's resolutions. Um, I feel like going to the gym is oh, one of gosh. those. Because it seems like a lot of times, you know, on the first or the second, they go and get that membership, go like two or three times, end up finding a reason to not go, and then paying that membership for like four or five months yeah, because, until they remember to cancel. Well, no, because if you That's cancel the membership, you've admitted, to, to, you've yeah. admitted, admitted defeat. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Like, if you cancel, you're like, oh, I now I'm never going to go. I can't. So people right. keep it forever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In fact, my, my friend, um, you know you know Bob Haskell? Yeah. Um, anyhow, he uh, he's super analytical. He actually did this whole research on gyms and what percentage of people actually go. And all the people that don't go make it affordable for people who do go. Oh, because so, it's, it's literally like 10% of the membership actually shows up at the gym. That and so sense. if only the people that went had to pay for it, it'd be like 10 times more. It could be $100 a month instead of $10 right. a month. Yeah. So thanks, everybody. Thanks, yeah, everybody, honestly. for keeping them open. But Thank like, you. it's so annoying. You. All you people that have gym memberships and don't go. You guys are the best. I hate, uh, like, the first, I like to run a lot. Mm. And uh, really? I like to run, but I don't like to run. That didn't make me. Huh? I, I, I don't understand. like to run at Just this, all. the expression "I like to run" always throws me for a loop. Really? Yeah. I do enjoy it. Because I run, I run to stay in shape, but I do not like you it don't enjoy ever. It. Everyone's gotta like something. And, and that's Otherwise, the thing. I I've never I've never enjoyed running like out like you do. Like you know, no, a don't. mile or two on this. No, I'm not saying like you oh. enjoy it. <laughs> like you do like five days a week, oh. where you run like two or three miles like on the street. Right, I can right. go to because I go to Lifetime. And I can run on the treadmill for like 30 or 45 minutes, but for it's something about running around oh. the city or something no. that's just completely different. I'm the opposite. No, the treadmill, treadmill I'm just mm -hmm. like, this. I'm the treadmill, I'm like, this is hell. I'm running, I'm going nowhere. Really? It's no, I like running on the treadmill. Uh, really? Yeah. That's funny, that's interesting. Yeah, I'm the more the same way yeah. as well, but mm -hmm. that, that totally makes sense to And you. then what's funny, yeah. I can like, right now, I could go, I could do like five or six miles if I just ran in my neighborhood, <laughs> but I went up to uh, South Mountain and ran the trails, and I did mm -hmm. seven. It's like wow. something about really? being on it, and, and you know, it should yeah. it should be less. Like you should be able to do less on a trail because you're going up and down, mm -hmm. and it's unsteady footing, and you're having to work harder. Yeah, and I don't know, but there's and there's, then Ethan just did eight oh, did he really? at South Mountain, and he's only oh. doing like three or four in his regular runs. Wow! wow. But I think it, being on the trail like energizes me because I'm out in nature. Yeah, that's cool. It's great. Yeah, yeah. it's nice. See all the wildlife, the life they're out here. I saw a coyote. You did? Yeah, see yeah. yeah. He was smuggling some illegals. Oh, nice. <laughs> 
<laughs> Where's that wall we were from? <laughs> Thanks okay. a lot, Trump. Thanks a lot, Trump. Gosh. And then I saw a little bunny, and I was like, oh, sucks to be you, because I just... Oh, you just saw the That dinner. coyote's coming for you, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, I, said, I wish I saw a Roadrunner. I'm, that's no, I'm you beat me to it. You beat me to it. Have <laughs> me stick a dynamite. With this, with this four people, you've got to be fast. You've got to be. I know, because I saw the Roadrunner going, and then I saw like the anvil fall. The, the, and Acme. Yeah, yeah. yeah the the Acme anvil. On. Then I saw the coyote with like skis and an ice machine shooting snow over him, <laughs> and like a fan on his back. Yeah. <laughs> I always felt kind of bad for the, the coyote. I mean, he's just doing. Oh, did you see that bird? Oh, yeah, do you, do, I felt bad for the coyote. I was like, he's oh. just trying to get food, man. I mean, I get it. Okay, but they're slower birds. That's his own fault. It but is. It it's is like the guy that's fault. like a four who will not date anybody that's not a nine or a ten. Gosh. <laughs> you're so like, true. dude, you gotta get, you're you like, gotta make some it's like money. The, oh, yeah, gosh. like the guy with like the buck tooth, just one buck tooth, Ooh, and like bad. greasy hair, and he's like, oh, yeah, will you go out with me? And you're like, dude. Get it. Get it. Shoot for a five if you're a four. Stay in your lane, bud. Stay in your Stay lane. Stay in your lane, bud. So, I mean, like, the, there are turkeys and chickens. Like, the coyote can eat. Yeah. But he's like, no, the roadrunner. The roadrunner. That's runner. it. There's still not that much meat on it, though. Like, right. Well, okay. But that's a good point. There's, yeah. Why don't you pick something like, else? Homie, yeah. come on. Yeah. <laughs> or or eat, it doesn't have to be a bird, even. Yeah, he could go vegan. I <laughs> mean, he could. Like, All those beans are going really past. He's just wearing like a beanie. He's like flying <laughs> past <laughs> all of these shrubs and <laughs> sagebrush. He's got a button, uh, that shirt all the way buttoned up. I'm thinking hips are not vegan. Yeah, those are not the same. They're they're square frame the glasses, man bun. Man bun yeah, on the top. Yep. They hate things like I, I feel like I just, <laughs> I just need to see the coyote with a man bun. <laughs> so, somebody who's watching, photo edit this. Please. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Like Thank like you. it doesn't already exist. If we just do a Google I'm image search, just, just make him do a coyote, coyote with a man bun. There's going to be ten Hipster images. Hipster coyote. Already. Hipster coyote. Mm -hmm. Hey, did you guys hear how the hipster burned his tongue? Oh. He was sipping herbal tea before it was cool. Oh. I got to go. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, can walk can I walk you? off? Is it? <laughs> I mean, oh. This is your house. You can't walk off. Yeah. We should all leave. He's going to cut your pay, too. He's going to cut your pay. Say, you guys are getting paid for this. I'm not getting paid for this. I got you the water. Uh, the water was good enough. Boy, I didn't get one of those. Oh, I could have got you one. This is the first time I've had uh, oh, filtered water. Scott, give me my water. I will. Scott, no. Ew, now you have cooties. Dang it. Now we both have cooties. Oh, great. Mm, that's how that works. Goes both ways. Goes both ways. Goes both ways. So last year I made a New Year's resolution that I was going to update my blog at least once a week with something I had actually written. Yes. And I, I found it was taking me two hours every week to write something, and that lasted for about three months. Really? Wow, three months. Yeah, right. So you feel like that was one of the, the I'm not going to say dumbest, but that was like maybe not the best. Usually I have a pretty good track record of keeping up with my resolutions. Uh -huh. um, Ten years ago, I decided to run three times a week, and I'm still doing that. Nice. Um, five years ago, I decided to go to the gym, and I'm still doing that, like mm -hmm. at least two times a week. That's awesome. And so, again, usually I keep up with it. But that one, and then the other one was last year was to um, was to update the one blog, and then the other blog once a week with this, the ridiculous letters. So. Yes. Mm -hmm. And Let's I talk about these letters. Yeah, the and I did. Letters. Yeah, I did. Right yeah, so should I tell our audience? Yes, please, so, please, please, please. So since the late 90s, I've been writing ridiculous letters to corporations mostly, other organizations, um, bringing up ridiculous product ideas, um, complaining about stuff like I sent a letter to Winco a couple months ago saying that I was offended that their Swiss cheese had holes in it and I expected a quality product. Um, anyhow, what do you so... What they do with the, the cheese that they cut out of those holes? <laughs> That's an excellent question. I'm just saying. Maybe they stick it in other holes. Because Maybe. Of Triangle. Does it does it does it fill the Monterey Jack? Some some kind of cheese. It might fill fetish. a guy <laughs> named just picking up it's, all the cheese. That's holes. what I was about to say. A man named Monterey Jack. That's where cheese curds yes. come from. Oh, that is oh, where cheese. That's, that's why I call them from. cheese turds. <laughs> Because they stick turns. them in Monterey Jack's uh, Speaking hole. of which, uh. I, oh gosh, I was just going to say, I had like a lot of dairy in the past week. You want to talk about some cheese turds? 
<laughs> you know, real I feel that. I really feel that. You know what I mean? I'm like drinking my coffee in the room. I'm like, I'm gonna. I'm gonna hate myself <laughs> in a little Just bit. A little bit more creamer. I work. Yeah. A little bit more. <laughs> I'm like, it's fine. It's good. It's so funny. When I was working at the car wash uh, a few years ago. That's a song right there. That's. A... Working at the car wash. Uh oh. Uh oh. I got it. Dude, at the, the car wash. Mississippi. Mississippi. <laughs> Car wash. Gotta get your car wash. Gotta get your car wash. Gotta get your suds on. You got some suds on. Gotta get your car wash. Get your suds on. Gotta get your. Give it to me now. Talking about the, the uh, so I, the, uh, I had a lot of Gouda. <coughs> We're trying to find a wine pairing with Pinot Noir. I, so, didn't, I didn't know because usually when I drink wine. Do you know how hard it is for me as a dad to hear the word Gouda and not just immediately make a joke? I'm sorry. Okay, go okay, on. let's go back. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set you up. No, no, so I'm, I'm, I'm suppressing it. No, I want to hear it now. It wouldn't be that Gouda. Oh. <laughs> 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 All right, I'm sorry. Lambert, you know. Lambert <laughs> Wait, you're talking about Pino. I totally cut you off. Uh, it's not a good story. Okay. I'm glad you saved me, actually. Well, it's not as... Well, I didn't save you. I saved us. You I saved us. You're welcome. All, all of us. Are you saying that the Pino story you had wasn't as good uh, as the Lambert letters? Oh! I think he was just saying it was a little cheesy. Wow. Multiplier. Oh. Wow. Okay. Multiplier. Multiplier. That's three. <laughs> That's pretty Because if you can't make cheese jokes, you just don't know Jack. <laughs> I'm pretty sharp at this. Uh, oh, I feel like I gotta say something that I'm totally you, fucking. You cheddar believe it. Oh, yes. nice. I um, swish I'd come up with something like that uh, earlier. I feel like this should die now. <laughs> <laughs> this this whole com this this topic that we're on. I was, like, is your I, was I know, I was like sitting there like, trying to figure it out. <laughs> trying to think of the pun that I I've made, I'm but like, actually I'm just Jesus shutting this I. down. <laughs> you saved us. Uh, yes, yes I did. Uh, it's so funny. Uh, <laughs> Lamberlet. Yeah. Winco. You yeah. just wrote Winco about that. That was it. That was the, that was the whole thing. <laughs> I tried to bring it back. We were so <laughs> all the time. I like how you just brought it back to cheese. After we just killed all that, we you're like, let's that. talk about cheese. Let's talk about cheese, though. Really, let's I want to talk about cheese, about cheese baby. Here. So, yeah, I mean. I, I know the song is too close to the last one. <laughs> so, so, people, if you're viewing this, um, go to. Uh, I have to remember my blog name. We're going to put it in the description. Oh, you are? As well. Okay, it's in the description. You can see all my letters. I've been doing it since the 90s, and there are, I don't remember, there's more than 200 letters on there. Mm -hmm. There's a decent amount. There are a lot. They're super and if you're funny. A book, I check them out. I yeah, if you're them. a book publisher, hit me up. <laughs> yes, yeah, there we go. <laughs> You've also been doing uh, Lambert Tips. Lambert Tips. Well, Lambert and Tips that's, are my favorite they're on so Instagram. Fun. They're on Instagram, and it's just under Lambert Tips. Yeah, well, no, it's, a it's Scott, Scott. Scott underscore Lambert, which Lambert. is like the word lamb and then ER. Got it. So, it. yeah, so Lambert Tips are extremely helpful, valuable life hacks for you. So, for example, Guys, help me think of a good example. I sent my brother the baptism one, and he got oh, really yeah, yeah. mad. <laughs> so, so if you're a pa that's one of them. If you're a pastor and you're baptizing people, the more sinful they've been, the longer you should hold them under the water. That one's a <laughs> There's one uh, I actually wrote down because I thought it was so funny. It's, a, it's one of those things where you ask me what <laughs> you ask it. As soon as you ask it, it just right. blank. I have done, nothing but blank. I've created right. more than 400 daily Lambert tips, and I can think of one. <laughs> yeah, I like the, there's one, it was 360. It says, the Bible says to poop before you run. Let us lay aside every weight, and let us run with endurance. The race that is set before us, Hebrews 12, 1. So funny. <laughs> so if you like that kind of stuff, and I'm sure you do because you have a soul and eyes and ears. Well, her brother didn't like it. No, oh, my brother's really? such a stick in the mud. I love sending him stuff like that to make him angry because he's like, how could anyone think that? How could anyone think that, though? And I'm like, stop crying. You're fine. Stop. 
It's getting really dark on this one. I was noticing that it's darkness. getting super dark. Well, could we turn on those lights? Without we could. Uh, yeah. Do you guys want to take a quick like fiver? Sure. Should we just do it, like? Yeah. A, can you give me like a, a no? I mean, just like give me a, a musical outro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll do it. We won't stop the tape. Do you want me to sing? Like, we can't stop. You sing. Yes, you, you start singing. Sing. I'm gonna be while you're doing that. I'm gonna turn on the lights. <coughs> That song, you missed it because you were turning on the lights. Dang it. Oh, look at that. But it's the first time I've publicly performed it since the 80s. No uh, way! Yeah, I, I mean, I, I recognized it. Yeah, I played it for you. Yeah. I wonder if this I had an unfair advantage. advantage. <laughs> Does it work? It's just son. so <laughs> bright. <laughs> The red gummies. I'm the a deer on so. They're coming for you. Speaking yeah. of, oh, Red Dawn. Have you seen that one? Yeah, like the old one, way back yes, when. Yes, the commies. Yeah, that one. Every time somebody says commies, it's <laughs> Wolverines. So, I actually wrote that song when I was thinking about um, who was the guy in the 50s that was all worried about commies? Uh, uh, Senator McCarthy. Yeah. McCarthy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I feel like if I had had enough time to really dwell on that, 
I could have like gone back to like my freshman or sophomore year history classes yeah. to get that information. Well, I'm super old, so I remember right, Joseph McCarthy. Right. Yeah, I know from... you're just super old. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Negative three, <laughs> negative ten, negative fifteen. Yeah, yeah exactly. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> that doesn't mean it. Okay. Okay, guys. This next section is called deep. Some deep thoughts. That's pretty so much been. How's that thoughts. different from the first section? It's really not. I just wanted to give a segue to the next. Okay. There you go. Good so, my first question for you guys. This is for everybody, and I kind of want everybody's own separate opinion. Mm -hmm. Is everything we do influenced? By oh. something else. Oh. Or is there any originality that you have at so, all? So if I can jump in on that, I was I was friends with this guy who is like this super radical Christian. Like, I don't mean radical in like that's super cool. Yeah. Not radical, like he's just <laughs> super extreme. And one day he's like, you know, we don't ever have any original thoughts. Oh, and shit. I went, what? He's like, every thought you get is either from God or from the devil. Wow. Okay, so, that went up so that I was went just like, way. I say, like he's a, saying this, I'm like, um. That's zero to 100 real quick. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm just like, okay. It's nine in the morning, dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, like this guy said this to me. I was like, um. And then I didn't want to argue with him because he was that guy that yeah. you can't argue with. And yeah. I just went, oh, interesting. And then I just kind of walked away. Walked away yeah. But then I'm thinking about afterward, I'm like, so if you believe in God and you believe that he created us with a brain, if all you do is parrot, Either what God or the devil tells you to do. What's the point of that brain? Yeah, yeah exactly. Sure. <laughs> that, and that goes to that whole like, do we have free will thing? Or, oh, free will. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This yeah. is gonna get theological. That's it. It's gonna get real that's theological. Okay. But okay. That's no, but your idea. Your idea is that something like I've read the statistics. Something like three percent of the population are are idea creators, and everybody else are just kind of repeating those ideas. Yes. Is that the idea? Yeah. yeah. I was saying, uh, and uh, a lot of it comes from uh, the, my mindset comes from create something, but I think art is a representation of, can be in this instance, of, of uh, who we are in general. So I think, I don't I don't know, I, have a, I was like, I'm, I'm just genuinely curious. So you, I don't think there's a right or wrong answer. Right. Do you think that if you went in, 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 let's say you set out to go do something, like oh, I'm gonna do this because nobody else has done this before, <clears throat> but you're still influenced by people, so then what you did was still influenced by that thing even, so you'd have to be removed from society and people in general to eventually come up with something yeah. that wasn't I think the devil made you say that. Mm. That's fair. <laughs> that's a good answer. That's fair. I mean, you said, see, you said there's no wrong answers. And I was like, I can come up with a wrong that's answer. That's a wrong answer, probably. <laughs> I, I will disagree with that one. Yeah, that's fair. That's, like, that was my whole reason for saying that. Like, that's so funny. I'm going to come up with a wrong I'll answer. Love it. I'll I love skipped it. everything you said after that <laughs> simply so I could say so a wrong answer. So I could answer. say this thing. Uh, no, um, let's see, Peyton, what do you think? Can you say, I think I have the answer, but could you say the question one more okay, time? Okay, you're totally right. Is cool. everything is that we do 23, is that the influenced? answer? I feel like... It's 23. I feel like, it's 23. I feel like there's some people that do influence, and then there's some people that want to be influenced, if okay. that makes sense. Like, there's some people that, like, what you say won't affect me. I'm still mm -hmm. going to do what I'm going to do. Yeah. But there's some people that, like, are like sheep and just... They totally need someone fair. to influence them because they have no fair. creativity. Yeah, that's fine. I think so, it's good answer. So I read this book a couple of years ago called Artist Theft. Mm -hmm. And the, the premise of the book, it was written to people that are creative. Yeah. The premise of the book was that everything's been done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like if I decided to paint a painting, I could probably finish my painting, do a Google image search and find several paintings like yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the idea of the book is everything's been done, but what you need to do is decide who your heroes are and actively try to copy your heroes. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, your own personality will also mix in with your attempt to copy mm -hmm. them and you'll inadvertently create something original. original. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So in the original, different from influenced, obviously, but, and that, but I feel like that those lines get Right, like we know um, Brendan Urie, Death of a Bachelor, he was trying to emulate Frank Sinatra. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's a very loungy song, yeah. but he doesn't sound like Frank Sinatra. Not at all. He sounds yeah. like Brendan Urie. Yeah. It's true. Yes. Uh, yeah. Caleb, anything to add? Um, well, I, I mean, in the question of itself, you're asking if you're influenced. Like, I feel like there's going to be influence in anything you create, mm -hmm. uh, be it, you know, art or, you know, anything physical or, or mental. Um, anything that you create is influenced in some way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. Maybe you don't even realize that you're being influenced. Like maybe it's something that's subconscious. 
but I feel like anything that you create is influenced in some way, shape, or form by you, your life, and those around you. Yeah. I love it. Mm -hmm. Great answer. That's a great answer. Okay, next question. Let's see. I just like it that you actually have questions. I like that. Questions are good. Questions. Um, let's see. What do you personally envy? Do you have any envy at all? Do you, can, have, you, have you noticed that you envy somebody's that you consistently envy a talent or maybe it could be a physical feature or something hmm. uh, on that way? Or maybe I mean, you've you got these like, awesome white jeans. Yes, that could be fun. <laughs> you envy the jeans. Are you sure you don't own those? <laughs> I, you say, have some white jeans. I was going to say, I know for a fact you have white jeans. I've seen them. Yes. <laughs> okay, but I'm trying to I'm trying to build him up. Thank you. I mean, it, it means a lot to me. You know, Dean, I'd like you to have this. Here. Thank you so much. Yeah. These, hey, this looks familiar. <laughs> That's weird. That's so weird. That's so weird. That does look very familiar. Hmm. <laughs> I said I'll see you later. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> I'll see a real spoon. <laughs> oh. <gosh. laughs> there we go. Uh, okay. Yes. Do you envy anything? Do you catch yourself in anything? People Maybe not often. <laughs> Honestly. What kind of job? Well, uh, like, I my be more friends specific. I can sing. I'm so, so singing jealous. is one thing. Yes. That's fair. That's fair. I really envy people um, that can uh, draw really well. Like with yes, the steady hand stuff. I don't know why that stuff is always, that's a talent. I do not possess it, even close to possessing. And uh, maybe it's silly that I envy it so much because I think, I really think that if you practice it, if you have. Some form of like a steady <coughs> hand specific with that, then you should be able to get good at it. But so much really, work. It's so much work. Yeah. No. Well, see, that's that's the real thing is when you when you want when there's something that you're like, I wish I could do that. Half the time you could do that. Mm -hmm. Like I'm a decent guitar player, but I'm nobody's like nobody puts me on their list of great guitar players. Right. Um, and I've had and I, I'm a decent piano player, and I've had. I've had times where I'm like, okay, New Year's resolutions. I've had New Year's resolutions. I forgot about this one where I was like, I'm gonna actually get good at the guitar. Mm -hmm. And like I took lessons, I said, and then it just fell apart in like a month because I was like, I don't have a passion for this. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so that's probably the difference. Like if you have a passion for drawing yes. and you're not good at it, you'll keep doing it, you'll keep doing that's it, eventually you'll be pretty good. Yes. So like I don't have a passion for being a great guitar player. Yeah. The guitar is a tool to me. Like if I write a song, I can figure out the chords and I can do this that, and the other. But I don't. Yeah. I don't like just playing because yeah. I'm awesome at playing. That's fair. <laughs> so I think that that can be separated by the uh, by the drive to go actually or the passion to actually make that thing happen. Maybe we can change the question to be that. If you had something, what do you wish you could put that passion into? It should be something oh. like that. So what if maybe for guitar for you? Like, Man, I wish I had more passion. Piano so more than guitar, but piano, yeah. Piano is gorgeous. Yes. But I feel the same way about drawing. I would say that for sure. Really though, you would choose you would choose piano over guitar. Oh yeah, really. Yeah. Piano's my first instrument. Well, I knew that you played piano, but I always figured you'd lean towards guitar. No, I just it's so fun. Oh, fair. But guitar is so much more convenient. Like yeah. I have a piano, but if I brought it here, I'd be like, Hey, Kill, can you get one end of the piano? Right. Yeah. yeah. It's tired. Exhausted. It's like being a drummer. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. Like you always have band practice at the drummer's house. Yeah, yep. that's true. It makes sense. Yeah. It's fair. It's fair. Um, how about you guys? Oh, something that I envy. Um, I want to throw in, while you're thinking. Yeah, yeah. I want to throw in interior design. Yes, if you're good at because that. Because people oh who have real, you walk into their house and everything is like, feng shui. just walk in you're like, this is so cool. Yes. And for me, I'm a, I've been a landscape designer for years. Mm -hmm. I can make a backyard just explode with awesomeness. Yes. Um, You're, uh, and I've designed pools and landscapes and everything else. Yes. And for some reason, it doesn't translate to the inside. I go inside, and I was like, I feel like I could get it if I read some books, and like mm -hmm. it wouldn't take me long to get it. Yeah. But I always admire that, like people who just naturally will like go to thrift stores and they're like, I decorated my whole house for forty eight dollars. That's me. Yes. That's honestly me. <laughs> okay, so yeah. how come you aren't decorating my house, Peyton? Uh, have you seen their house? It's a you always go to Goodwill without me. <laughs> Ah, yeah, that's, that's what it comes down to. That stresses me out. That's what it comes down. There's so much chaotic energy everywhere. <laughs> that's not wrong. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> the feng shui is so off. <laughs> There's some. I'm not. Uh, you know, I'm gonna go off on this goodwill tangent for a second. Feel that. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, Please. There will There's be no some goodwill. Information. Some goodwills. Some goodwills. Some goodwill. Some stores. Yeah. I'm going with that. Thrift stores. Some thrift stores. Uh, that that you know that the goodwill smell. 
overall. Yes. Yeah, but I there's the specifically smell. one that's near Sozo, and it is overwhelming. Oh. Oh, yeah, compared right, to yeah. the that, other that's ones. That's right next to you. Yeah. Oh, so that's that's the one I'm about. Yes. Yeah. The, uh, the other ones I'll step in and I'm that's like, That's actually okay, the smell from our bad. house that you're picking up. At the oh place. my gosh. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. It's so funny. All no, right. So sorry. Goodwill, I, you can't mention Goodwill smell without segueing into health food store smell. <gasps> oh, <laughs> that's fair. Yeah, like, you're, that's I'm going to go in there and get stuff that makes me healthy. So why does it smell like seaweed and like dead things? Death inside Because that's what health smells like, Dad. That is what healthy living smells like. Oh, like a bad <laughs> like, fart. I think, I think if like, um, like no, somebody like who's a like a healthy fart. Yeah. 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 Like, like a so somebody who's fart. really yeah. been eating all the health foods and doing everything right dies, and then like somebody who like smoked and ate all packaged food oh. dies, and you buried them on the same day. I think in ten years, if you dig up the healthy person, there'll be nothing there except like rich loamy soil. Oh, and there's oh. like and flowers then the other guy, coming from the grave. And then the other guy, like they're gonna be like still look like they just died last week. <laughs> <laughs> they're preserved. Yeah, because they've got so much got like so nicotine much, like, and like just <laughs> like tetragyglycerides. I said there, there'd be a there'd be a, oh a cast mold of their lungs from all the tar. <laughs> <laughs> it's like their chest is all collapsed except two lungs. Yeah, just two yeah, rock hard right lungs. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, what are those two black things? Oh, no, 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 yeah, no, no. God. looking like an Iron Maiden cover. <laughs> You're tapping it with like a drumstick. <laughs> oh, I, tink, I like tink, the sound. Tink. Timberland's like, let's get the microphone in here. That's <laughs> Jethro Tull. That's, that's how he came up with Aqualung. Yes. There you go, right there. I love it. So <laughs> <much>. <laughs> tink, tink. <laughs> All right, I got one more question, but let's finish it. I want to. I want to. I did not get your answer. Oh. I won't let you leave. I think, like, I wish I had a passion for being competitive in a way. I'm, okay. I'm not competitive She's in this competitive. line. <laughs> Even no. survival, like, it's fine. So we know what story I need to tell. Yeah, after it's finish. fine. Um, <laughs> but I wish I was competitive because then I know I would, like, if I wanted to start, like, a makeup, like, YouTube channel, I know mm. I would compete for that. But I don't. Yeah. Like, I don't. I'm just like, eh, no, someone else can have someone that. Someone else can have that. <laughs> have you thought about partnering with somebody who's competitive, though? They do all that stuff. No, because they the walk on me. No, they do the marketing. Like, they, they're not good at makeup. They do the marketing mm -hmm. and the and that stuff. They get your and channel you do your out stuff. there. Yeah. That's what you need. Yeah. yeah. And by the way, that person is not me. So. It's not a <laughs> I don't. Yeah. I suck at marketing, which is why my Lambert tips get, like, eight likes every day. I I'm one, love them. one of those. I can I can I'm help you like a little four. bit with that, but all it is is hashtags. I feel like I'm always like oh, I do four. hashtags. I, I, I mean, you're gonna need like thirty or forty. I, that's, I do like twenty to thirty usually. Okay, okay, that's better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Part. Sounds good. That I don't do it on the Facebook because the hashtags don't seem to matter as much on Facebook. No, not really. Who goes on Facebook? Sorry, I don't. Old people. <laughs> it's old people. <laughs> I hate Facebook. People are born after nineteen eighty. <laughs> so before nineteen eighty. Go on Facebook. I get mad on Facebook. I'm on there for five minutes. I really like want to fight a family member. Like I'm like, let's nope. go. It's the people who want to fight on Facebook. Yeah. Like people who are like, like I'll I have friends. I'll be on Facebook and it'll be like, I can't believe the liberals did this. Blah blah blah. And mm -hmm. Donald Trump this. And it's like, it's the most extreme thing in the world. It's yeah. funny. And we, you're like, what? Go back to Candy Crush soon. We we have out a here. Candy Crush. <laughs> Say, Dad, we have a few mutual friends. And I know who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, it always amuses me when I check, I do like my monthly Facebook check. Oh, yeah. That's and I monthly. scroll through and I see your comments on every single one of those posts. <laughs> but they're not. Just egging them on and it's great. Yes, I'm not agreeing with them. <laughs> no, ever. you're not. No, it, so, never agreeing with them. It's usually just egging them on. Well, it's it's pointing out some flaw yes. in, this, in the argument. I'll be like, that seems right except this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. except for this. Because I'm just like, stop. Yeah. Because this way, okay, so here's the middle. The further you go to the right, the further you go to the left on politics, probably anything else, mm -hmm. the greater the odds of extreme error is. <laughs> yes. That's fair. I'm, like, because like, you have on the extreme right, let's take like the border issue. The extreme mm -hmm. right is like, we need a guard tower every 100 yards with guys with Kalashnikovs. Oh, wait, that's not an American gun. No, it's Hang not. on. Uh, <laughs> with Colts. <laughs> there, you there you go. There you go. With AR 15s yeah. every 100 yards. And we need, we need two parallel fences with guard dogs in the middle and guys in Jeep patrol. That's like the extreme right. Nobody comes into America. Yeah. And then there's the extreme left. It's like everybody just needs to be brothers. No, we shouldn't even have borders. If people want to come here, they should come here. Like both those sites are ridiculous. Yes. Abolish all like, They're both stupid. Like yeah, realistically, oh, yeah. the middle is the right answer. People who want to come here should be able to come here if they're going to participate with our system, yeah. mm -hmm. contribute, you know, be yeah. regular, decent, normal people. Um, and people who 
who want to come here and destroy things should be kept out by guys with guns. Like, that's the answer. I think everybody agrees. But the Biggest further you friend. go to the extremes, yeah. like, well, Trump wants to build a wall, and the Democrats want, like, yeah. the MS-13 loving Democrats <laughs> want <laughs> gangs to rule America. Up, like, yes. And they want everybody <laughs> to be on death row because the yes. doctors, yeah, you have to be, serious. have to be, get government approval to heal them. Yeah. Like, stop. I just play with the little motion things and someone's arguing. I put like a thumbs down. I'm like, no, no. <laughs> I don't like that. It's and just then like I, read between the lines. Ultimate efficiency. Like, <laughs> I put the little angry face as like the little red on it. I'm like, that's my say. That's Bye. Awesome. And then Bye. I deactivate my account for like we the third just, time. We should just do like, like inexplicable emojis. It's like the guy goes off on like how great Trump is, let's say, and then you just put like a wiener dog. And you're like, <laughs> We what have, am I supposed to get from this? We have this uh, thing called Slack at my work. It's where you can communicate with like everybody in the company. It's basically like a direct message. That's terrible. But you get this like list of emojis you can use, and everybody like replies with hearts and like smiley faces. I've been replying to everything with toaster oven, and no one knows what's going on. <laughs> yes, that's it's what a little I'm toaster about. oven, and I'm just like, what does it mean? Is hey, it good? Is that's it why you're here today. Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm here. Because <laughs> I was, I told Dean, I'm like. She has to be here. My you boss came up to me. He's like, "What does toaster oven mean?" And I was like, "That's a secret. I'll never tell." <laughs> I'll never tell. <laughs> XOXO toaster oven. I love XOXO. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. All right. I didn't answer. Yeah. No, nope, I said to get back on time. You don't oh, want to know. I was like, I feel like I had to It's okay. It's okay. I said we got about three, two or three more tangents coming. It's okay. I know that. Um, yeah, when Dean something said that, that I'm question. envious about. I feel like I'm envious of people who are naturally good at saving money. Okay. Uh, cuz that's that's never that's something I've had to teach myself over the years, you know, after moving out of mom and dad's house. Um, it, it's just never something that's come naturally to me. Mm -hmm. Um so it's always been really hard for me to to put money aside to, and especially now that I'm an adult with bills and everything. Um I, I've been doing good about it over like the past year, but it's just something that I have to work really hard on mm -hmm. to make sure that you know yeah. I'm not. Tell them what not you did. Behind. Tell them what you did to save money because it's awesome. Oh, oh, that's right. Um, sorry, I forgot did about that. Did you live that. here? Is that what <laughs> I forgot about it. That's that's the whole point. This was part of it. Yeah. No. I'm digging. But forgetting he's about it. He's charging us rent too. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. To to have this podcast Wait, in second. his living room. Yes. <laughs> slash bedroom. Um, slash but bathroom. But what what I did because it was something my roommate did, uh, as I drove up to Flagstaff. I took a, a, a weekend and I drove up to Flagstaff, um, and while I was up there, I found a local credit union, uh, local bank, local credit union, um, that I set up a savings account with. Uh, they gave me the card. Um, I gave the number to my job so they could direct deposit 10% in with every paycheck, mm -hmm. shredded the card, so anytime I want to withdraw from that, I have to drive up to Flagstaff. Nice. Yeah. And ten percent of every check. Ten percent of every check goes that into that awesome. account. So that's awesome. awesome. That's awesome. awesome. Thank you. Yeah. you are not allowed to get into yeah. that. That's great. Yeah. So, so when now the, the world comes, you're going to be trying to get to Flagstaff yeah, so you I can am. survive. I am. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Mine's in Hawaii, so top that. No. <laughs> yeah. Have fun canoeing to Hawaii in the apocalypse. Wouldn't it, wouldn't it cost you three thousand dollars round trip to start your savings account <laughs> in Hawaii? That's Yikes. Awesome. All right. Last question. I love that. Yeah. yeah. I love that. Oh, yeah. That's great. Um, and I like that idea too. That's, mm -hmm. that's really uh, a lot of self control. Like that kind of thing. Yeah, <laughs> that's really awesome. I'm going to assume Caleb's identity and go to Flex. <laughs> 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 um, I have his social security number. Oh, so, so do I. I'm his dad. Nope. <laughs> Up top. <laughs> Up top for having my social. <laughs> I just tell it to everyone. All right, <laughs> the like... last question. What well, is the last question? That Caleb's I'm social security number is going to be in the comments. The yeah. comments yeah. below. Yeah. Look, for, below. Yeah. Look for my social. <laughs> All right, uh, what Different makes <laughs> art art different from just doing something? Oh, so if I walk across the street, it's just walking across the street. But if I put on a suit and I do interpretive dance across the street, it's art. In either case, I've gone from point A to point B. What's the difference? Is that the question? Part of the, that's part of the question. I want to see what your interpretation is. That's the way I wonder. I was very specific with the way I phrased it. Okay. So I want to hear what your answer oh. is. With these things, because I want to, I want to see what everybody thinks. I don't think anybody's wrong or right. Mm -hmm. I just think that's a. Oh, I can be wrong. Point. I can make you think I'm, I'm wrong. wrong. <laughs> <laughs> if uh, your parents named you Art, you're Art. <laughs> there you go. That's I, it. I feel like <laughs> lawyer. <laughs> 
<laughs> so dumb. <laughs> I feel. I mean, Garfunkel's got it. He's, he agrees with you. Yeah, right. His parents created real art. He did. He created some real art. No, his parents created some real art. Yes. And if they would put an F in front of his name, it would have been a different story. Did you ever think about Whoopi Goldberg? Her parents were making Whoopi. Was that? <laughs> Is that really her name, though? Is I don't that know. Stage name? But her parents were making Whoopi. Yeah. That's what I know. Nah, nah, nah. If you put her on nah. a cushion, would she be a Whoopi cushion? <laughs> no, her cushion would be a Whoopi cushion. Yeah, the cushion she's sitting it's on always, would be a Whoopi cushion. Oh, she's cushion. cushion. Mm-hmm. Like her cushion. I'm sure. Yeah. It can mean that. Yeah, that also. She has right. one. She does. Everyone's got this one. This is the most deep thought I've had this whole time. I'm just like... <laughs> Maybe they ain't a bad like... <laughs> <laughs> well, we just watched Sister Act the other day, and I was like, hey, she's named Whoopi. <laughs> yes. Whoopi. The first one or the second one? I, oh, is Lauren Hill in the second one? You don't want to watch the second one. The first one is worth that. Lauren Hill's not in the second one. I don't know. I think she's just in the second one. I think she, I've seen the second one. I, I have a special prejudice against part twos of okay. pretty much everything. That's fair. <laughs> is there an exception? Godfather. There are exceptions. Um, Star Wars. Yeah, like the Godfathers are good. The Star Wars are not part twos, though. They call it that, but there there was an already a saga that was... Yeah. There's a difference between a saga and a sequel. Mm. Okay. Um, the Back to the Future is actually a part two. It's not... It wasn't originally intended to be a three-part. Mm-hmm. They did an excellent job, so that's an exception. Yes. Okay. Right. This, this then to nitpick... Oh, here. speaking of Back to the Future... <laughs> when'd you get off ship, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> Would you say Ethan is a part two, then? <laughs> no. <laughs> His little brother's a part two. Yep, yep. You're just like, I don't like part twos. <laughs> Sorry, Ethan. Well, he's the middle child. They always feel overlooked. It's true. Part three, don't even get me started. It's fair. It's fair. All right. Same question applies, though. What makes art art? So you're saying specifically it has to be um, a purpose beyond that, or maybe dressing up to do that thing. So you have, to, you have to don the gear. So I'm going to go legal. To I'm going to go legal on you. So the Supreme Court, there was this guy, I think it was in the 70s, maybe the 60s. There's a protest going on. Mm-hmm. This guy climbed up on top of something and took the flag down from a hardware store flagpole, set it on fire. Okay. Mm-hmm. Like he was protesting America or, you know, the war in Vietnam, whatever it was. Flags. And so or the just uh, flags in general. <laughs> so he got I hate a, flags. So yeah, he's a, <laughs> I hate colorful cloth rectangles. Why is it so <laughs> There's that one country with a triangular flag like in it's like in Mongolia or something. Oh, yeah. it's uh, yeah. Nepal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um he doesn't hate their flag because it has to specifically be rectangular. It's rectangular yeah. flags. Yeah, yeah. He's it not did. about it. Circular flags. I just like he's all about those. Go Nepal, <laughs> right? Like they're like, they're like we're gonna make a different. Think shape. outside the box, like, literally. Screw all you people. I just want a gigantic circle made out of cloth with two holes punched into it and tied around a pole. I can do oh. that. It's a then circular if, flag. If it's white, it's everybody will think you're surrendering. Oh, well, if any flag's white, people will think you're surrendering. Okay, Korea. Oh, wow. <laughs> white flag. Red dot. Eh, still. Do all right. They, so creative. <laughs> Kia's, yes. No, I was going to say they, children, made the, yes. they invented the period. That's what I was going to say. No, that was God. <laughs> that was God. Was he, maybe he suffered. When he invented women, I mean. I don't understand. Like, why? Why? We didn't deserve that. Thanks, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> Mary? No, it wasn't Mary. You mean Adam's oh, Mary? Yeah, yeah. No, it was all Mary's fault. <laughs> God looked forward in time and he's like, I hate you, Mary. I'm going to make you bear my son, and I'm going to make all women have a period. <laughs> you guys did get the short end of the stick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, there's a dark Charles. joke in there. I'm not going to say Here's the thing. Here's the thing. You're going to bleed all the time, and then you have to push out this child. Good luck. Yeah, you got sounds, this. And also, you're going to cry all the time. You're not going to know why. <laughs> You're not going to know why. <laughs> That's Love what being you. a woman is. XOXO toaster on But, toaster. but, what the heck? Mary represents you guys. What does the so toaster okay. mean? I still don't get it. Toaster oven? Toaster oven, I don't know. <laughs> so, so this, this guy got arrested for burning the flag. Like, yes. the local police are like, nobody burns a flag in America. And they, it was in Texas, so they probably said it just oh. like <laughs> This guy gets yeah. arrested. Um... It goes to court, it goes to Superior Court, it eventually goes to the United States Supreme Court. Because there's no law against flag burning. Yes. And there were people that were like, yeah, like they probably got, I don't know, I'm just guessing. They probably got him on like, you know, something like a disorderly conduct, something like that. Like Anyhow, the Supreme Court property. then defined yeah. what they called speech plus, mm-hmm. which says if you do something and you intend meaning, that falls under the category of speech. Okay. 
And so they said, because this guy burned the flag, he intended meaning behind it, therefore he was committing an act of free speech, not an act of vandalism. Therefore, what he did is protected under the First Amendment. Yeah. So all of this, I'm going to now bring this around, all of this is, I think, similar to the idea of what is art. Yeah. Is that if I intend meaning, which is why I have a problem with so much performance art, like a guy coats himself in peanut butter and rolls around in thumbtacks and then cries like a baby for a half hour. That's me every Thursday. And then... <laughs> And it, like he probably before you finish this thought, this is just about to end. So I want to say thank you so much for watching. Peace. We'll start it up in just a second again. Uh, love you very much. This one's still good. So keep going with what you're saying. We just ended just on time. Crazy time. <laughs> well, that done. was like a time bomb. Thing. Well what done, sir. Nice. I'm gonna start it up. Keep going with what you're saying. Thank I'm you. so sorry to cut yeah, you Yeah, but off. then these people will miss it, Dean. <laughs> That's fair. That is fair. Oh, we're back. Oh, da, 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 da. Da. And we're back. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up in the 70s. Yeah. Give me some slack. Yeah. I have to go. And we're back. <laughs> you hang in there. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, cool. These words from our sponsors. <laughs> um, what is he doing? He's just sitting still. We're doing the sponsors. Everybody thinks the video is broken. We just sit still. We should just do that. <laughs> we should have so, some cue, and when it happens, we all just freeze for thirty seconds. Thanks for watching, guys. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we talking about free speech. Um, um, yes, um, continue. <laughs> so, so the performance art guy that does all this weird crap, and he's like, "Oh, I'm gonna do all this." And he doesn't explain why he's doing it. In his head, I think he just got high and he's getting paid 50 bucks by some art gallery to do this. Um, and then all these serious art people are like, I think he's trying to illustrate the underlying angst between the system and cultural mores. And you know, people come up with those weird interpretations. Yeah. I tend to go, that's probably not art because that guy's, I mean, everybody will call it art, but I'm like, that. I don't believe that artist really has anything in his head except I just dropped some shrooms and now I'm rolling around in thumb okay. Um And so, anyhow, but I think, and also when I see art and I'm like, I could do that, then I always, if, unless it takes actual artistic skill, I'm like, that's not art. If, like, if, like the guy who takes like a turd and throws it against a canvas, I'm like, that's not art. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It might be a statement, but it's not art. Yeah. So <laughs> art doesn't, for you, art does not have to be a statement. I think if you're trying to thing. convey meaning meaning or, or beauty because sometimes it's just conveying beauty right like right somebody paints a gorgeous sunset okay mm -hmm. okay and so art is de defined by purpose of the artist itself maybe but I'm not totally comfortable with that either because what you take from it is equally valid mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so art can be anything that was made by I'm not I'm, I, I, no, I, don't, I don't know I'm, I'm not trying to find what you say? No, but you, like it's also defined. Art can be different to different people. Mm -hmm. Like I've, I've had, I've read, I've read. Like I saw a movie years ago, and I took a message from this movie. Mm -hmm. And the message was, the message I took was, look how much that teacher cares about his students. Mm -hmm. okay. And I was a, I was a church youth group worker at the time, and I thought that's cool. That guy was willing to go to these extreme lengths for the students in his classroom. Yeah. It was absolutely not the point of the movie. <laughs> like the point of the movie was like it's a cool like action movie where the where the teacher goes after the people that are going after his students. Like so the point of the movie wasn't to inspire you to be better with kids that are in, in your charge. Uh -huh. But that was the meaning I took from it. Yeah. So and that was a valid meaning. So even though it wasn't intended, that's what I took from it. Right. That's cool. I love it. Okay, same question. What is art and not, like, compared to his question, I, it doesn't matter, it's a safe space. What does it mean to both of space. you guys? Stop freaking out. Safe I think, space. You're safe. I You're think safe. there's a freaking out. <laughs> Just be cool, okay? Jeez, be cool. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Why can't you calm down? <laughs> oh my God. Why you calm down? Peyton, this is a safe crying. place. <laughs> this is safe. Why can't you understand how safe this Lower is? Your you Lower your heart rate. Lower your heart rate. so down. safe right now. <laughs> If you don't figure out that this is a safe place, I'm gonna smack you. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I feel like anytime a 
a crisis. <laughs> Turtle. Armadillo. Okay, can I tell the story? Yeah. Okay. So our family went camping. <laughs> this is when I like first met you guys too. Oh, I forgot about. This. Yes, this is the best. This is the best story in the world. Um, our family like went camping. Sixteen at the time. And it was like nine at night, maybe nine thirty at night. And there was the little, the little bathroom building in the campground. Mm -hmm. It was up in Prescott, and so I wandered out into the woods. I think to go pee. I, think, I, I still think that's the theme of this whole program. Yeah. You started with you started with my pee. song. I got a pee. Anyhow, it's come up several times. Yeah. Um, I think I had to go and go out. I just was like, I'm gonna go in the woods instead of going to the little hut. So I went out in the woods and I was peeing. While I finished peeing, I looked and I saw Peyton and my daughter Jessica walking to the little bathroom building. So I got a fantastic idea. <laughs> so. <laughs> there was a little road that they walked along to get from our campground to the little bathroom building and I went and so I could predict their route home so I found a large tree with a shrub next to it and I kind of crouched down behind it and I just waited so so here come Peyton and Jessica walking back <laughs> and right after they passed me I just went <laughs> right behind them <laughs> and so Jessica takes off like a rabbit. She's like, I'm out of here. Peyton, Peyton just goes, yes. <laughs> She's like, whatever this is, finish me off quickly. That's the end of it. I just it's accepted it. I was like, it's okay. It's my time. I'm all done. It's it, my was time. Fun, it was a fun 16 years. It's so funny. I'm glad I get to die with the, with this family camping. It's so I accept death way too easily. Not even like a it's mental, like, oh, is she okay? No, I'm just like... And it, okay. it's like the, the old joke about the two guys are out camping and the bear starts looking really threatening and the one guy starts putting on his shoes and the other guy goes, what are you doing? You can't outrun a bear. And he goes, I don't have to outrun the bear. I just have to outrun you. Yes. 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 Love it. It's so funny. So that's why we always bring Peyton camping with us now. Deal. You have not yeah. brought me camping. Shh. Sorry. You just ruined my little joke. So, you're a designated, designated decoy. Designated so we can all get away. So funny. DD. Designated, I told you like I song. hate running. It's the opposite of designated driver. When you're the designated driver, they give you like free soda and stuff. Mm -hmm. If you're the designated decoy, we give you nothing but alcohol. Nothing but yes. alcohol. So you'll be even worse <laughs> at escaping. Yes. Like I'm gonna get away from this bear. <laughs> the stars are really bright, man. You got sharp teeth. <laughs> you're pretty. I'm gonna I'm gonna work up some chords for that designated decoy there's, song. There's no decoy. But designated. you had some things to say yes. in this very safe space. I feel like with what you were saying, how like you can see someone's art and you can be like, oh, that's not art to me. I feel like no matter what, somebody thinks it's art. So I don't really, it may not be art to me, but it's art to someone else. But I feel like it's art if you put time creativity in it. And if it like, if you're making a metaphor behind it, if that makes sense. Like if it's not like I, that leaf on the ground over there, if it has a deeper meaning than that, then it could be art. But as long as someone makes it into that. I love it. I feel like you just have to have creativity into it. Yes, 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 yes. Because people do just like throw like one thing and they're like, oh, that's art. But like, did you actually throw creativity and time into it? Okay, I like that answer. Yeah, uh, I've, I'm pretty much on the, on the same page. Uh, to me, art has always been in the eye of the beholder. Uh, so, you know, using the leaf as an example again if i see that and see nothing but a leaf and then you look at the same leaf and it, it has some sort of profound meaning behind it then what's to say that it's not art it, it's art to you but not to me yes. right and so i feel like it just depends on who it is like like if dad and i make a song and just one about of, to happen oh uh, i know it's about to happen if dad and i make a song and one of my friend one of my friends loves it it's art to him, but my other friend who hates it, it's not art to him. Okay. okay. Give Peyton another beer. Oh, sorry. I'm back in vocals. Make sure she doesn't wander too far away from here. Make sure she is good and drunk. She might be the one to get
guys for being on the show today. I thank you. you. Lovely guests. Lovely guests. You got anything coming up big? Anything you want to announce to everybody? Always. Always. Caleb, yeah. you should plug your uh, music. Plug uh, your music. I do have a new song coming out in about two <clears throat> weeks. It's a song called Supernatural. Um, is you it can about find me. Two guys who drive around the country in an old car. It is not. Monsters? Actually, it's more about the supernatural feeling that you get when you're ready to end your own life. Oh, hmm. I, I never got. <laughs> well, I've Left almost. I've, I've almost ended my own ended my own life many times, but never on purpose. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, is there a artist name? Yeah, yeah. I was about yeah, okay, to. Okay, sorry. You, you had just interrupted. Well, because I thought of something fun to say. <laughs> Um, so, Peyton, this is a safe space. Peyton, this is Peyton. a safe space, Peyton. You are safe here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But y'all can find me on SoundCloud at KTVL. It uh, stands for Kill the Virtual Living. Um, or you can find me on Instagram at KTVL as well. We'll plug both of those in the description below on that video, not this one. So, Instagram Live. Love it. Love it. Anything to plug? My Instagram, I post, I post pretty photos sometimes, and a lot of my dog. I mean, that's all I got going I on. I love it. <laughs> What's the name of the Instagram? Uh, P-X-Y-T-X-N-N. Okay. It's really, you can't really say it. I love it. It's going to be on, on the, uh, in the description below <laughs> as well. Anything to plug? It's chicken cheese. Bow, bow, yellow. <laughs> that's what it is. Anything to plug? Just uh, Scott Lamber. Lamber, Lamber tips. tips. Yeah, Scott oh, underscore gosh. Lamber on Instagram, and a I think it's might be the same thing on Facebook. Okay. Scott Lambert on Facebook. That'll be in this description below as well. If you guys want to switch over and then to YouTube in the next couple days, I got. There's edit three stuff, blogs so. too. Three blogs. So yes. There's, there's the Lambert letters. Uh, Lambert letters at word, dot WordPress. It's WordPress. It's the Lambert that letters. That one's WordPress. I've, that's the one that. I there's have. Taco Stand blog. Okay. And there's what the mail. Yeah. M A I L. For he's got quite. I've I've sent creative art pieces. I love it. What's the all of these for? in the link. Uh, all the links in it's the description below. Space, below. Do I speak? <laughs> <laughs> That's where I put the uh, Bruce Almighty. Where he's like blah blah. blah. I always yes. put that little thing yes. right there because I I do it at least seven times. Nice. An episode. I do have something to plug as well. Oh nice. So I got a big show coming up the 29th of January at the press room. We're doing a big show. Tickets, you gotta buy tickets for this one. The tickets are a little pricey. Um, that will be in the Instagram link, and it'll also be in a uh, uh, in the description below. Yeah, press room's well. a great venue. Press room is a dope venue. Yeah, I'm so excited. We got fog machines. We got uh, new stage stuff coming. Uh, lasers. Nice. Whoa. That's new worth songs. That's worth whatever it costs. I'm debuting a brand new song there at the press room as well. He's got freaking big. lasers. He's got freaking lasers. <laughs> so uh, that one's great. If a lot of people have been asking how do we support it and stuff, they don't say that, but they, you know, they imply it with their eyes. <laughs> and this is how you support because we got Spotify's free and Apple's free uh, to get the music and, and come into the free shows and stuff like that. So this one is a big deal. We're getting breaking into a new scene. That's why we're doing that. So if you guys. Want to check that out and buy a ticket? Um, like I said, I know they're expensive, but we're putting oh, a lot. Expensive into is it. expensive. Twenty-five dollars a ticket. Yeah. I mean, for like when we play free often, it is expensive. Right. You know, I mean, right. That's just that's right. just okay. But break. If I've seen five of your shows for free, then we're down to like an average that's of like four dollars and twenty cents a ticket. Yeah, yeah. You gotta buy tickets before we're gonna say the twentieth well, because there's a cutoff the date, and if we don't. Sell them tickets, then it's gonna be the same. I said 420 I in there because I was trying to secretly reach out to a different segment TV. of your viewers. Where's that pot? 420's going Oh, yeah, there is a pot. You guys right want here. some pot? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mom. I, there's no, I was gonna do Sorry, it. Sorry, mom. Sure. Does your okay. mom watch your podcast? She does. Hi, mom. <laughs> hey, Dean's mom. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. My hey. mom is great. My, uh, my uncle Mark watches it. <laughs> my dad watches it. She and it. Mrs. Ar Mrs. Garfunkel both made art. Yes! Get out. Oh, you stop it out of there right there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so please, uh, 29th, uh, we've been uh, promoting that one big. I got a big band coming for that one as well. So not a big band. So Duke Ellington and his orchestra? <laughs> yeah, <he's coming> out. <laughs> but a band that is big is coming out. Man, I'm super excited. So more about. than 12 members? There was, there's eight. Okay, that is a big it's a, it's a lot. Wow. We have two lighting guys coming to help us out, do it too. Nice. Really two of them are children. So two of them are children. <laughs> uh, it is a, it is a uh, 21 and up show though. So Peyton, 
It's no longer a safe space for you. It's not safe. That is not a safe space for you. So, I want to say thank you guys so much for being on the show. I don't, I've just met you both, and you guys, I, I really, I'm, I'm not just saying this because of you. And it means a lot that you come out and support something that I love doing. Of course, man. Feeling uh, I'm, exa I'm excited to hear your new song. Yeah. I'm excited to check it's out. To your see channel. my dog. <laughs> I'm, oh, I <laughs> love the dog. On? I love the dog. What's the dog's name? Willow. Willow. You gotta see Willow. Great name. Uh, Willow. That's a great name. She's a mini. She's like a calico cat in dog form. Dang, I cannot wait. I cannot like that. <laughs> With blue eyes. Yeah. I love it. The dog's prettier than me. That's <laughs> why. <It's fine. laughs> no. Not possible. Yeah, um, and Scott, you have been such a big. Um, just I, every time you come in to the, sh the shop, I always know it's going to be a good time. And awesome. I just love your personality and everything that you bring. I don't know a lot of people like you, and I mean that in the best way. That's, that's not a cut. I just uh, <laughs> I love the, the life and energy that you bring to all to to everywhere that you come and go. Well, Dean, you're awesome. Good. Appreciate you. Yeah, thank you so this much. Is fantastic. Thank, you guys. Yeah. thank you guys for being part of the show today. And thank you. We love you guys. And this you. is the awkward yes. part of the show where I gotta come up and turn off the camera. But uh, I just wanna say I love you and goodbye. I really wanted to scream as it went off. You can scream on, on, as that one right there, I'll cut it off. Okay, I'll still do it on that one, just cause it seemed like. <laughs>